any man who has a wife is called a husband. That you are a husband doesn't mean you control the home. There are different kinds of husbands. There are, in fact, there are eight kinds of husbands. Do we get into that one now? Eight. Number one, there's the baby husband. The baby husband is not a head, it's a figure head. His family controls him. The mother tells him what to do to his wife. When he gets angry, he tells the wife, I will report you to my mom. That's a baby husband. It's the in-laws that tell him, the wife, you know, what to do to the wife, how to treat the wife, how to handle the wife. That's a baby husband. I don't know who gave him wife. Your mother controls you. Your wife is not, your wife is shaking because of how you have allowed your family. Your brother, even your brother can, 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 can embarrass your wife. It doesn't matter. You're a baby husband. There is the wife husband. Wife husband. It depends on the wife. The wife feeds him. The wife clothes him. I thank God for my wife. I thank God for my wife. I thank God for my wife. Thank God. This is my rent. She's the one that paid. I thank God for my wife. This is my children's school fee. She's the one that paid. If I calculate what I'm owing my wife, you'll be surprised. She doesn't bother me. I thank God. Now, there are people who God has brought women to their life. God has blessed them. Once in a while, you go through shaking. She supports you. She's there. For the past 10 years, you have no job. She's the one who has been carrying the load. That doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it right that a lie has been in office for a long time doesn't make it the truth. Longevity is not legality, it is wrong. You should provide for your household. First Peter, first Timothy 5 8. See, that does not provide voice. I say he has denied the faith, he has said, I am no more a Christian. So, your Christianity can we get the message translation? Anyone who neglects to care for his family in need repudiates the faith. That's worse than believing. Just give me all translations you can give me. There's something I'm looking for. Anyone okay has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. If God says you are worse than an unbeliever, I don't know what to call you. When God sees a man who can take off his family, he says. Amplify. If anyone fails to provide for his relatives, especially for those of his own family, he has disowned the faith by failing to accompany it with fruits. It's worse than an unbeliever who performs no who performs his obligation in these matters. There's this, there is the sex husband. That's the one that only knows about sex. He beats his wife if she says no. He doesn't care. All that much. She, she's only a sexual tool. The man is a predator. The sex husband is a predator. There is the money husband. I heard some of the questions and answers they were having during the, the session. The money husband always gives money, no affection. He always gives money. The wife says, I want to see you. He says, check your account. There's an alert there. <laughs> but my husband, when are you coming home? Check your account. There's an alert there. Eh? There's an alert. Say, but when am I seeing you? He says, check your account. My husband, you are coming back. Is it not for the family? Three weeks. How can a man travel for three months? He says he's doing offshore, onshore. Even when they give him a week free, he doesn't come home. Three months. We are men. Let's talk. Let's all talk as men. How do you do it? You need to teach us all. That for six months you hope or the take teach us all. You know the fast, not be prayer, not be waiting on the Lord. You hope for these six months, no discharge. Pastor, brother, deacon, businessman, tell us. How do you do that? We want to know. 
Because me, I'm anointed by God, but I've not grown to that level. Six months, you are not fasting, you are not praying, you are not seeking God. You don't come out something for body. Abba, ah! You have somebody else. Why are you looking at me? I'm saying the truth now. Nala de lie. Money husband. A pastor told me, he said, for one year, he has abstained from his wife. I said, I said, come, let's talk. We sat down. I said, Are you fasting? He said, No. It's just a decision. I said, Pastor, forget that thing. He said, I said, forget, forget. One year. He said, you don't understand. He said, grace. I said, I don't want. Because sex is not just about bodily pleasure. It brings intimacy. It brings intimacy. There are things money cannot do. No matter where you are as a man, if it's a text, send your wife. If it's a call, put to her. How are you? I saw my wife before I came here yesterday. When I still got here, I still called her. To check on her again. This morning, before I came up here, I still spoke to her. Some of you have been in this conference. You have not called your wife once. And you're in a conference. Oh, can you imagine? You are in a conference that should make you love your wife more. Even in the conference, you have not reached her. Is it office you will reach her? If from church you not call your wife, now office you go for call her. And the, wo the woman, as far as you are concerned, now she said, Are you in the conference? Check your account. You are wondering why it doesn't take too much to please a woman. No? Yes, no, women are the easiest to please. Just be sincere. Because if you are coming, you are <laughs> one of our pastors, I preached it somewhere. One of our pastors started saying, now send his wife a test. He said, I love you. And the wife replied, Are you with Papa? <laughs> <laughs> She knew that's not my husband. <laughs> he showed me. I laughed and laughed. He said, are you with Papa? He said, like, what do you mean? Can't I love you? He said, this is not my husband. Either you're with Papa or somebody stole your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, call her. So I spoke. I said, he has changed. He has changed. He said, I said it. I said it. I said it. The pastor was sick very critically sick he had a problem with his kidney so they came with the wife and two people while we are praying the lord said i should tell the people to go out they went out and when i was praying i was praying in tongues and the lord told me the woman is a witch now this is a pastor a great pastor the wife how do you say that the lord said she's into witchcraft she's a witch ah i kept on praying praying thinking of how do i say this and when you dilute a message given to you by God, you dilute the potency of fulfillment. When you give a message, God gives you a message, and you give it the way it came. In two, three minutes, there can be solution. But if you dilute it two months, you'll still be looking for a solution. So, I just said, this is what God told me. The wife started crying. That the husband by now should have even been dead. That she also is even carrying part of the sickness. Why? He said the husband... Is a good person but where she belongs to they have been donating their husbands now they pointed her own this man is too good she can't let him go she's even carrying part of the infirmities there are some men who are so bad if it was their wives even before it gets to the man's turn they will volunteer General husband, there's a general husband, our husband. General husband is our husband. He has children everywhere, he has kids everywhere, he has wives everywhere. He's our husband. Our husband has no respect for fellowship, have no respect for commitment. He's our husband. There are men when they are dead, you see children uprooting from different corners. When they were in the north, they had some. They were in the east, they had some. They were in the south, they had some. I 
Our husband is the polygamist. There is the abusive husband. The abusive husband is the husband who beats, who curses, who punishes the wife with money. When the wife makes her angry, he makes him angry, he punishes her. He punishes the children. I will not pay your fees. Have you not seen fathers like that? Have you not seen fathers like that? I will not pay your fees. You will not eat in this house. Never punish your child with food. That are the, the, the abusive husband. When you have gone through certain shaking and you have prayed as a man, nothing is working, involve your family. When the wife and the children pick up that prayer before God, when your child picks up a prayer before heaven, the innocence, the spirit of innocence, pervades the climate, pervades the atmosphere, attracts the voice of angels. Because one of the strengths of angelic attraction is innocence. Thoughts, being beaten, being victimized, so long as he's innocent, he attracts angelic assistance. And that's why I tell people, if people gang up against you, do all kinds of things, just make sure you are innocent. It doesn't matter how, how it goes, you will bounce back. You will rise. 